What up, y'all? Welcome to the video. As y'all coming in, y'all smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, I wanted to go through this boxing scene article I, I just ran across, right? So, this is from your Dennis Ugas. Um, it says, I don't know what the F happened. That wasn't the Spence that fought with me. That was a clone. So, let's go down and <laughs> finish reading. So, this is what it say. Your Dennis Ugas couldn't believe what unfolded right in front of him the night of July 29th at, at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. The former WBA welterweight champion anticipated a very competitive fight between Earl Spence Jr. and Turner's Bud Far. Watching Farford dominate a beam unbeating Spence was perplexing to Ugas who lost his WBA belt by eyeball and spent previous 15 months earlier. I don't know what the elf happened, Ugas told Boston Sing through a translator. I mean, that wasn't the Spence that took my eye. He seemed like a completely different person. Crawford dropped Spence three times once said, well, we don't need to go through that again. But, uh... Like Uga said. <laughs> like Uga said. I agree with Uga. See, Uga Snow. He the only one that was in that ring that had to suffer the damage and bleed for 48 hours. You, you can't convince him that was the same Earl Spence. Him and Terrence Crawford fought the same Earl Spence. In actuality, Uga fought the tougher Earl. He fought... The real Earl turns fraud for fraud fought the clone. So, of course, he's able to dominate the clone because it was the clone. It wasn't the real deal. So, that's what Ugas is saying, though, man. He said, I don't know what the hell happened. You know, that's really like the mystery question leading up to this uh, rematch. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't know what happened either, but I got an idea. One of the things I believe happened was the same busted gloves that turned far from. He brought those same gloves to the fight. <laughs> Not only that, what else happened? I believe Earl was way drained, though. Real talk. I, I definitely believe that. I believe he was way drained. I mean, it, to me, it looked like Terrence Crawford was bigger than Earl in that ring. You know, I believe Earl had a great training camp leading up to a certain point. That's what I believe. I believe at a certain point of the training camp, everything went left, you know. And, um, and by that time, it was already downhill to the point where he had to get in that ring. And he had to fight with the best that he had. But... Terrence Crawford was better prepared, but I still don't believe Terrence Crawford is a better fighter than Earl Spence. If Terrence Crawford was to happen to do that at 154, then I believe I'll let you say that. But right now, we, we, we can't, what? <laughs> we can't even go near that conversation right now. That is, this is not the time to be talking about how Terrence Crawford is much, much better than her. No. Because guess what? Bud fought the clone. Bud Farford fought the clone. Yeah, I could have gotten there and beat the, the clone. The clone couldn't beat Ugas. If the clone would have showed up versus Ugas, well, it's longer than 15 months now. Uh, 16, 17 months ago, he would have lost. It wouldn't have been an Earl Spence versus Terrence Croft. If the clone would have showed up the same night versus Ugas, the same Ugas that dominated Manny Pacquiao, he wasn't going to walk away with, with that WBA belt. It was going to be an upset, period. You know, and everybody know that no matter how much denial you, they right now because they say I'm in the night. <laughs> they say I'm in the night. 
say I'm in denial, but the real denial, deniable people is the ones that believe that was the first the real earth. They the ones that's in denial because they don't want to admit that the fight was fugazi. Period. You know? But it is what it is, you know? I just thought this was interesting coming from the guy that actually got his eyeballs snatched, you know? And then what's crazy is the more and more, because I'm not watching the fight again, but the more and more I, I think back on, on the fight back then when it had happened versus turn far from versus Earl, or every time I think back, back, back then, I, I think, hey, you know what, it really wasn't that bad because that version of Earl, which was the clone, he was supposed to. He was supposed to sleep him. He, he he was supposed to take his eyeball. He was a little swelled up, a little no. Nah. Swelling is not taking nobody eyeball, bro. Y'all 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 taking the eye collector to a whole new level. The changing the mean just like the pillagers. You just trying to run with something and, and change it up. No, that's not the meaning. You only your eye collector is if you take your eye, not just swell up around the area. It don't work like that. So, I had to let people know, you know, it is what it is, though. We coming for that rematch, and we want that eyeball, and that's what it's all about. We get the eyeball in the rematch, I'm happy. Until the end, I don't care about nothing. <laughs> it is what it is, though, man. This is what we gotta say. He said, I don't know what the fuck. I mean, if happened, that wasn't the Spence that fought me and took my eyes. So, yeah, that's what he said, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, subscribe already. I'm out. Deuces.